Hi guys, welcome. Many people start out with a desire to become full-time traders. Some start too early, some start too late. But for the most part, people get burned out. They get burned out because they run out of income, they run out of money to fund their trading accounts. They run out of the needed technology, computers, internet service. In as much as you desire to trade, before you consider trading as a full-time job, there are things you must consider. How are you going to fund your education in trading? Because you just don't start trading and wish it's going to be like a lottery system where one morning you will stake and you make a lot of money. Trading doesn't happen that way. You first need to think about educating yourself properly before getting into full-time trading. You will have to find a good trainer who actually trades, not read you a textbook. It's very important. Secondly, you need to think about how you're going to fund the cost of internet use because it's not cheap to use internet in some parts of Africa. You have to pay a lot of money to get it running every day and even get a backup. Have you thought about power backup? These are some things that you need to think about when you decide that you want to go into full-time trading. If you don't think this way, you will start and you will stop or you get burned out. But do you really need to start out as a full-time trader? Watching videos on the internet, they may excite you, give you an adrenaline rush, and give you the feeling that you can start and in two months you can become a full-time trader and turn your $1,000 into a million dollars. I am not saying that is not possible because in our world, everything is possible. Roger Bannister ran a mile under four minutes. Today, high school children are doing it. I mean, some time ago, it was difficult to go to the moon. It's very easy now. Companies are set up and sending people to space as tourists. Today, you can literally do anything and everything. But you see, you have to be realistic. What is the probability? that a $1,000 account can become a $1 million account in 10 days. It can happen, but it is not, it's highly improbable or not probable. So it's advisable that you get adequately funded so that you don't push yourself trying to get a small account into a mega account because most people try that way and I see a lot of people still funding a small account to become a mega account. I've seen people start with $500, push themselves to the edge, becomes $1, put another $500, push themselves to the edge, and one day they make $2,000 and push the $2,000 and becomes $3. Because all they are looking out for is a lottery kind of trade, a lottery mindset where I want to put in a thousand or two hundred dollars. I want it to become five times or ten times the amount in a few seconds, in a few hours, in a few days, in a few weeks, in a few months. It is not profitable that way. So it is important to start slow with a reasonably funded account. What I mean, we call it risk capital, not your children's school fees, not your education. Uh, fees, not your books, the textbooks, not your car repair money. Some people throw their rent into trading and hoping that it will become money for them, and then it doesn't. And then the landlord comes with a stick and kick them out, kicks them out, you know. So it's very, very, very important that you start slow. Do not jump into the euphoria of full time trading because you've been watching on the internet. A lot of those videos are made for views and likes to generate income for those who produce the videos. Real traders grow over, do not grow overnight, they grow over a long period of time because in trading you evolve. You get to understand your personality better. 
as to whether you it's better for you to trade short term or long term but i have an idea for you that can actually help you to start your trading properly you can actually have a full-time running trading account but not be a full-time trader what do i mean you can actually trade off a long-term chart or a swing chart as some may call it while skipping your day job and spending just about 10 to 15 minutes viewing the chart and making a decision i know a company in the u.s that trades the weekly time frame they look at their charts on monday morning and on friday afternoon the rest of the week is spent out on the beach or at home or doing some other work this company manages over two billion dollars that's a lot of money but yet they are not viewing the chart every second there are many companies like that trading off the weekly time frame some trading off the daily time frame and they may view the chart in the morning in the after once in the morning once in the afternoon and once in the evening so I, I would like to encourage you that if your desire is for trading do not quit your work some time ago there was this engineer who came to my office and uh, you know I've been in the business for a long time over a decade and came to me and said he wanted to quit his job he had two thousand dollars and he grew five hundred dollars into two thousand dollars in a month and therefore he's sure he can grow that two thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars in two months uh, looking at how he did with the five hundred dollars and fortunately his manager knew me so he came to my office with his manager and his manager uh, you know introduced him and uh, we had a conversation and I told him you know what keep your job and still trade out two thousand dollars for the next five months and come back to me and let's see what you have he kept his job took my advice and then in two weeks, he, 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 I, I got a call. I was so excited because um, I was expecting him to tell me um, he's made a lot of money. Unfortunately, when he called me, he had lost everything. So I, I asked him, if you had quit your job, how would you manage your family? So you need to be wise. You need to be smart before you quit your job and go into full-time trading. Because trading is risky if you don't have the right skills. It is also one of the most profitable forms of investment in business globally. But you need the right skills. Over the course of the coming days and weeks and even months, I'm going to talk about how you can be involved in swing trading while keeping your job. In essence, you can have a trade running every day but you're not monitoring every day. You put in your risk parameters and then you leave the trade to run and then you go and do your job. I'm going to give you bits and pieces of information. However, those who want to join me in my trading office, you can join me for us to do this together and discuss this together. I mean, it's a system I have had for many years. And for me, it is the most reliable trading method that you can think about where you have a trade you know there was this time i held um usd canadian dollar i think it was um 2000 no, 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 no. was it 2000 and i think it was 2015 yes correct 2015 i think i held that trade continuously for 21 days and all i did every day was to adjust my trailing stop slight few meters few meters just to follow the trade to keep milking so even though i was in the market on one pair for 21 days the total time i spent trying to monitor the trade and see how it's doing was actually less than two hours less than two hours so this is what i'm trying to the kind of education i'm trying to give people that you can actually have trades running and making money for you Whereas you will focus on your day job and then you spend just a few minutes when you can transition from this process where you realize that that method is making money for you you have looked at it over the course of a few years two years three years and consistently 
you can see money trickling in. Then you can decide that I'm going to increase the portfolio. I'm going to retire early or keep working while increasing the portfolio for my profits to increase. So it is so important that you make good decisions when you want to become a trader. All right. So guys, you need to subscribe to this channel because it's going to really, really educate you. I have gone to the boom and bust of trading. I have gone to the high times and the low times, the emotions, the pain, the aches, the excitement. There is no part of trading that I, I have not gone through. There's no method I haven't tested. There's no feeling I haven't felt in trading. And this is a reality talk that you can be a trader but not monitoring full time and be successful. So many people, I mean, I'm actually doing this video because people keep coming to, I want to be full time. And some of them are, are, are so young, with, even without a job. There was a gentleman who said he's going to get money from his dad to become a full time trader. Has he even tested the waters? So guys, it's time for us to be profitable. And I'm really, really going to help you with this channel to trade from the string method and then keep your day job and become profitable as a trader. Thank you very much. And remember, subscribe. Bye-bye.